to the keynote session of Gaming for STEM Learning 2012, an international conference is playing the latest games for learning with relevant speakers, bleeding edge STEM games, 400 concurrent sessions, 500 poster sessions, and 900 exhibitor booths, all in beautiful downtown Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Games. Now in Second Life alone, there are the Virtual Medical Doctor, the Stomach Museum, the Virtual CT Scanner Room, and the Virtual 3D Medical Diorama. That's Second Life alone. I think if you add in all the other virtual worlds and non-virtual worlds online, there are a lot of games. The future is coming whether you like it or not. STEM education is a current focus in this country and the economic competitiveness, competitiveness of the nation may be determined by the ability of future generations to compete on the global stage in science, technology, and engineering, and mathematics careers. Audrey Waters in 2012 predicts a recent article in a recent article that game-based learning will proliferate in 2012. In current research, Chris Deedy predicts a virtual game-like environments will help shape learning during the next 10 years. We are participating in a reality which is different from that of everyday life that we are used to. MindShift identified three trends in the future of education. Digital delivery, interest-driven content. This is where critical thinking, communication, and collaboration enter. Games are an effective way to impart these skills. And now, welcome to the keynote session of the Gaming for STEM Learning 2012. I'd like to introduce the speaker for today, Dean Groom, pictured here as is with his avatar in Second Life, giving a key new presentation, The Virtual World's Best Practices in Education, last year. His avatar is here. He himself was on a yacht off the Great Coral Reef in Australia. He delivered the keynote via podcast. Here's another picture of his avatar in Second Life, and here's his picture in real life as he is at Macquarie University. And now without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the keynote speaker, Dean Groom. <laughs> 